I'm going to kick <laughs> off with, what do you admire most about your character? Yes, I've seen the film. Yes, I understand it's a loaded question. Uh, well, I admire his opportunity to stunt drive exciting versions of automobiles in inappropriate okay. ways. Not necessarily a character trait, but definitely admirable. Uh, what was the yeah. most challenging part of that? Uh, honestly, that was not challenging. That was just fun. That oh. was fun. Some things are challenging. I will uh, fight scenes challenging. That's that's challenging. Uh, uh, trying to eat like one steak in one sitting in two minutes challenging. Stunt driving for some reason, I I really enjoyed it. It was not as challenging as I thought it would be. There we go. I said it. You said it. Wow. Put it out there. Hot takes. Hot takes. <laughs> hot takes. Hot takes. Um, how many fish in a barrel do you think your character could kill in sixty seconds? Uh, as, listen, how many are in the barrel? That's how many you could shoot. <laughs> It's just there give me the number. Yes. How many are in the barrel? That's the answer. Listen. Emotionally, what was the most challenging part of making the film? <laughs> uh, I think it was really, I don't know if it was a challenge. I think it was fun to just be serious. You yeah. know, like normally I'm a, I'm a goof nut, as you know. And so to be just actually serious and rude and just a pile of duties as a person, so fun. So fun. <laughs> I've never heard a person described as a pile of duties before. Um, is Listen. that something that you want to continue to explore? Yes, Dana, absolutely. Count me <laughs> in, employ me as a duty pile in any and all of your movies. Let's make me a Bond villain. Let's make me a Hans Gruber in the Die Hard reboot. <laughs> Let's make me whoever, Nosferatu, whatever, some <laughs> other bad guy. Let's do this. Do you want to have like a bad guy signature move? You know, is there, are you working on that? Can we like make a multiverse of Flula? Oh, that's really great. Yes. Yeah, some kind of layer or like, mm -mm. yeah, maybe like this, like that. Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no. Mm -hmm. I like that. Let's start with that and build. Okay. Did you have any uh, hesitations about being typecast as a German villain? <laughs> Don't mention the war. <laughs> it's too late. What do you mean? It's too late. Well, I can't go back in time. It happened. These things, listen. And by the way, they're fun. German villains are fun. Have you seen an Indiana Jones movie? They're fun. I have they're... seen all the Indiana Jones movie, it turns out. Yes, they are fun what, to play. What inspiration did you draw from classic movie villains? Mm, well, you can't, well, oh man. I don't know, I don't know. I think I just did it. I'm sure unconsciously they all inspired me in ways I don't know, but everything inspires me. A, a bowl of Twinkies can inspire <laughs> you if you think about it. And how right? many bowls of Twinkies did you get to eat? Because you definitely like were in good shape for this. So I'm guessing limited Twinkie intake. I dreamt of these Twinkie bowls during okay. the training preparation of this movie. To be fair, I only dreamt of them. These are imaginary bowls of Twinkie. <laughs> you were method dreaming for this? You were the Daniel Day-Lewis of dreaming? That's right. That's <laughs> okay. how it is. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Listen, exclusive. This is exclusive. Yes, right, right. Um, this is a broader question, but I always like asking folks, what is the first film you remember seeing in theaters that you were the impetus for going to go see? Oh, wow. Wait, that I was the, oh, that I said I wanted to go see. Yes, yes. yeah. Uh, very young Ace Ventura pet detective. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 I, I uh, see no influence from that at all in none. any of your, none whatsoever. <laughs> None, none at all. You would have thought like Sophie's Choice or something, but no, no. Ace yeah, Ventura. yeah. You, you again. You contain multitudes. Um, no. And then similarly, growing up, who was your favorite fictional character? Oh, Hans Gruber from Die Hard. <laughs> there we go. See, it's all full circle. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to meet you. I'm a huge fan of your comedy. Um, so, Ooh. congrats on the film. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for talking to me.